How to Get a Job in the Video Game Industry. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. For many, working in the video game industry would be a dream job. It's a world full of creativity, innovation, and cutting edge technology. Our job is to make up a world for players to play in, create stories for them to experience, and give them stuff to fight. Sounds good, right? But how do you break in? There's just so much competition. We sat down with the EverQuest development team at Sony Online to find out how they got in back in the day and how you can break in now. Step one, get passionate. The video game industry is obviously full of gamers. And while you may not want to sound like a gushing fanboy when you go in for an interview, it's a good idea to let those in charge know that you truly love games. You have to have a passion for it. Uh, there's a lot of people who'd like to get into the industry and you know, it's, uh, it's fun, it's interesting, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, you get a lot of feedback, you get to, you get to in, involve yourself with the players and the people who use your, your product more so than a lot of other industries. And if you don't have passion for it, it's, it's going to come out to the people you work with, the people who want to buy your product. Step 2. Get in there. Many people in the industry start out in a lower level position and rise up through the ranks. Right out of school, I came down here and started working customer service for uh, Sony Online and uh, just worked my way out uh, through the apprentice program. Started off doing a little bit of extra overtime, a few hours a day, um, and then eventually got hired on the team full time. It's You get into the ground floor like as a uh, QA person or any other job you can get in the company and then show them that you're good and get hired. It's a good idea to keep one eye on the gaming company's websites for any and all openings. If you can't design giant robots right away, getting your foot in the door is a big step. Step 3. Get technical. It will come as a surprise to no one that video game companies like people who are familiar with software and hardware. It's gotten a lot more technical recently, especially since I've been here. A lot of people coming in are required to have a lot more technical um, knowledge, even if you're an artist or a designer, just to be able to interface with uh, code and art and uh, be able to use the systems that they build for you. Um, so I think the tech stuff has become a lot more important uh, recently. I started programming flight simulators uh, for the, uh, the Finnish Air Force actually and that got me in the door to real-time programming and working on real-time systems and from there I, I moved to games pretty easily. So while we don't think you're required to have a certificate from a foreign military, it couldn't hurt to take some computer science classes. Step 4. Get literate. Video games are becoming more and more cinematic, and while gameplay and graphics are important, a compelling plot keeps players hooked. Learning anything about storytelling, um, having any kind of English background, being able to write, um, it, it, when you get right down to it, a game is just an interactive story that you take part in, so, so uh, being a good writer and being a good storyteller really helps you to, to get that across to the player. Like most storytellers, aspiring game designers are aided by an appetite for books and a powerful imagination. My like for reading is, was important, but I think uh, my playing of pen and paper role playing games is more important. Um, I started doing that also in high school. I've been playing pen and paper games since I was a kid, and that helps a lot in what I'm doing now. And that's probably why I love doing what I'm doing. Step five, get lucky. I was just hanging out in a local arcade uh, playing Street Fighter 2 and I was just uh, destroying this guy that was kept challenging me and he offered me a job uh, but I happened to be in high school at the time so I couldn't take it so uh, as soon as I graduated high school uh, put in my application and my resume which was pretty bare and uh, started and that was 95 and I've been doing it ever since. What can we say? Being in the right place at the right time never hurt anyone. <laughs>